G'day mates, this video is sponsored by sleephq.com. It's never been easier to upload, report and share your CPAP therapy data with anyone and from any device. Visit sleephq.com and sign up for a free account today. G'day mates, hope you're all having a great weekend with your friends and family. I was just kicking back on the couch watching the Aussie rules and scrolling through the endless wasteland that is Facebook and I came across this post. I was just told by a doctor that you can't die from sleep apnea. And it's got 399 comments. So I thought we'd discuss that. But before we do, I want to share with you this. I've just started drinking non-alcoholic beer. I didn't know it was a thing. It's absolutely delicious. Let me just have a little... I can't tell the difference, to be honest. Um, let me know if you've tried it before and you can tell the difference because... I personally can't. Now, the reason I started drinking non-alcoholic beer was because I've just had two massive weekends in a row. I went camping with my brothers and the old man for three nights down at this little place called Strath Creek, fishing, bonfires, drinking all day and all night. Woke up Monday morning, like 2 a.m., in a world of pain. I was crawling around on the floor, cold shivers. I, I, was, in, I was in a world of pain. And... I think I might have done a number on myself. I think I might have pancreatitis, inflammation of the pancreas because I've been so sore all week and I think it's time. I'm 40 now. I'm not 21. I think it's time I give the booze away. And so this zero alcoholic beer, I tell you what, man, like I feel like I'm drinking, but at the same time, I'm not drinking. <laughs> How good is that? So I took some round to a, uh, a dinner last night and... I was fine. I didn't miss it at all. So get onto that. If you're someone who loves a beer, but maybe you're drinking a little bit too much, get onto the zero alcoholic beer and let me know what you think. I'd be really keen to find out. All right, back to this post. I was just told by a doctor that you can't die from sleep apnea. What do you guys think? Do you guys think you can die from sleep apnea? Put your comment in the comment section below. Let me know what you think. 399 people on this post are having their say. There's a whole bunch of opinions. I think the doctor in this scenario is trying to say to this person, look, if you're having an apnea during the night, one of those moments where you're, you know, you can't get any air in, your body will always take a breath. I think the doc is trying to say here that you're not going to suffocate. You're not going to be lying there and then all of a sudden die. Could that have happened? I don't know. P potentially. Now, there's no doubt that uncontrolled sleep apnea increase your risk of things like heart attacks and stroke and a whole bunch of other health conditions. No doubt about that. The science is in. But can you die from, from an apnea? I don't know. Let me know what you think. Now, I want to show you this other article titled Reggie White's Legacy. And here's Reggie here. Reggie White died on December 26, 2004 at age 43 from cardiac arrhythmia which many believe was partially caused by his untreated sleep apnea. The football legend's CPAP machine was found at his bedside table unused. His legacy foundation continues to help those in need manage their own sleep apnea. Two years after White's death, his wife Sarah and Wisconsin-based Sleep Wellness Institute co-founded the Reggie White Sleep Disorders Research and Education Foundation, the foundation helps people of all economic backgrounds to understand the symptoms and risks of sleep apnea, as well as provide donated CPAP equipment to those with a CPAP prescription who otherwise could not afford it. So how great is that? Reggie's wife, two years after his death, at only 43, you know, here he is, this legend, you know, a fit footballer, but many believe that sleep apnea has had a big impact and potentially impacted his death. So it's a real shame, but good on his wife there for setting up this foundation. So I thought I'd bring that to your attention. Um, we'll go down here. Because if you are someone who perhaps has a CPAP machine in the closet that you're not using, you've just been upgraded by your health fund or whatever it is, and you've got a CPAP machine there, you might like to donate that used CPAP machine to someone in need. And you can do that through this, through this foundation. All right, so it says here, since 2006, the Reggie White Foundation has sent CPAP machines to more than 300 people in need across America. 
I reckon with the help of this channel, we can probably double that within a year, all right? And you can also send a monetary donation if you wanna help someone else get a CPAP machine. All right, but anyway, guys, uh, thanks for watching. I'm gonna head back to the couch. Have yourselves a great day. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. And as always, look after your mates, look after your health, and I'll see you soon. Bye.